Hello and low and low. You're tuning into the episode of The Wonder Control. Today's second topic the NFL schedule has been announced, and the Baltimore Ravens will be facing the Kansas City Chiefs to open the 2024 NFL season. Oh, before I go any further, why? Let me tell you why I don't like this game. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you why I really don't like this game. bro. I do not like this at all. I do not like this at all. It's a lose-lose for the Ravens. And it's a win-win for the Chiefs. You understand where I'm coming from? Everyone's like, no, no, I try you see that. When you see a game like this, right, it's set up for the Ravens to look bad no matter what they do, right? Like I always told y'all before, we're the proverbial bad guys, the proverbial villains in the NFL's storyline. You know what I'm saying? We'll never be viewed as equals or heroes in the storybook. We are the villain. You understand where I'm coming from? And we're the antithesis of the hero. <laughs> so, I want to make sure that I say this so you guys understand where I'm coming from. If the Ravens beat the Kansas City Chiefs in the opening day, you know what's going to be said? Wow. Why didn't you do that in the AFC Championship game? Or, ah, it's the regular season. They'll choke still in the playoffs. Let's see come uh, um, January. That's what all's going to be said. You understand where I'm coming from? I'm telling you this right now before it happens. If the Ravens beat the Kansas City Chiefs, all you're going to hear is, ah, yeah, they won one game, but they couldn't do it in the AFC Championship game. And why didn't they do what they did in this game in the AFC Championship game? You understand where I'm coming from? That's pretty much what's going to be said. That's pretty much what's going to be said. And, oh, it's just one game. Let's see what they do in January. That's going to be the narrative moving forward if we win this game. Now, if we lose, ah, ha, 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 y'all still haven't learned from the AFC Championship game. Ah, you're not winning nothing. You can't get past the chase. Joe Burrow's the king. You're not most overrated MVP. The Ravens lost their wing. Ravens don't flop together, and they sure as heck don't fly together. That's what's going to be said if we lose. So that's what I mean. It's a lose-lose. <laughs> Bro, and that's crazy, right? Yeah, and listen, I want to make myself I'm really clear. I know a lot of you are going to disagree with me on this, but some of you are going to see the light and say, Nitro's not lying. The Chiefs, another reason why the Chiefs win, they're going to be like, well, they're Super Bowl champions, right? They do it when it counts. When it counts. These are going to be the narratives that we're going to be fighting all year. If the Ravens lose, well, you know, they're not the team we thought they were. Overrated MVP. They only were there because Joe Burrow was hurt. Justin Herbert was hurt. Lawrence was hurt, and Rodgers is hurt. But if we make it there, it's like, oh, yeah, but they'll just falter in the playoffs. So th the only way to quell the talking, the chatter, is to win a Super Bowl. Not even make it to a Super Bowl to win one. I don't even think the chatter will stop with one Super Bowl. I think the chatter will continue until we win two Super Bowls with Lamar Jackson. That's it. Winning one is not enough for them. Just like I told y'all, winning one or two MVPs is not enough for them. My 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 significance of the MVP awards always been related to historical value. You understand where I'm coming from? Historically speaking, it puts you in such rarefied air that you can't it, you become undeniable in the grand scheme of NFL history. Now, for Super Bowls, we we do got to get it done. I'm not making excuses for the Ravens at all. The AFC Championship game was abysmal, and anybody that's arguing that it wasn't it's a liar. All of us was hurting. All of us was sitting down with a pillow. You're going to be in like, uh, 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 crying, screaming, looking at each other like. Uh. So don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The Ravens still have a long way to go. This is still a long season. Let the people talk outside of the locker room and insulate the locker room. Because one thing I'll say. Because of social media, talk gets into these places more than ever before. It plays a part in your locker room, culture, 
attitude, everything. It plays a strong. People acting like social media is not real don't doesn't understand the landscape of the world right now. There's a reason why they want to ban TikTok. You understand where I'm coming from? Social media, just like Google, like Google's become a necessity. YouTube's become a necessity. You understand it, right? It's become daily tools that people rely on, make businesses off of. You understand where I'm coming from? So that's why you have to have foresight. You have to under, have an understanding. It's the same thing with the Ravens. You know what I mean? Like people are going to say what they're going to say, do what they're going to do. You still got to be able to deliver. And you got to understand that we're, it's a growth thing, right? You learn from last year and you build till you get to where you need to go. You understand where I'm coming from? So it is what it is. I already know what this is. It's a lose-lose for the Ravens. We'll celebrate, but most Raven fans are still bummed about the AFC Championship game. There's even people questioning and being like, after the game, everyone's throwing up people like this. Because I'm telling you, there's going to be Raven fans being like, bro, why don't we do that in the AFC Championship game? It looks like y'all know what to do in the regular season, but y'all know what to do in the postseason. And that's going to be the narrative that just goes on until we win. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. And that's what I'm trying to tell everybody, too. We got to stay focused. Like I was saying earlier, you know, social media is so impactful. We got to insulate the locker room. Do not let what these people say on television move or persuade you. Because at the end of the day, none of them are for you. None of these guys want to see Lamar Jackson succeed. None of them want to see the Baltimore Ravens succeed. None of them want to see uh, pa- uh, uh, Roquan Smith win. None of them want to see Zay Flowers beat uh, uh, beat the doubt. None of them want to see Mark Andrews hoist the Lombardi. None. Nobody wants to see Derrick Henry retire a champion. They don't like us. Everybody on the Ravens squad, they hate equally. From Patrick Ricard all the way to the Water Boys, they hate all of us. They hate all of them. So we got to understand that and insulate the locker room and insulate because, like I said, it, and I think that played a part. As much as I don't know the heart of people, I just feel like it played a part because it was like the Ravens were trying to prove, like, yo, we're gonna beat you, but we're gonna beat you this specific way. And I think a lot of times you just got to get the win. Who cares if it's an ugly win? A win is a win. You're that thing. A win is a win. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I stand on it. You know what I'm saying? Moving forward when I'm gauging this team. You know what I'm saying? But what do you guys think? What do you think about this? The Ravens versus the Chiefs. AFC Championship rematch with Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Are you guys excited about it? Or are you down about it saying this is a lose-lose? Like, I think it's a lose-lose. And do you guys also look at it as a proverbial... A uh, villain hero story, meaning that the hero stumbles at the beginning of the season, but redeems himself, meaning Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs in the playoffs against the Ravens. Do you think that's what they're trying to set up? Let me know down what you think down in the comment section, all right? And the last question also, has Patrick Mahomes ever lost to the same team twice in one season? That's another stat I'm, I hope people are looking up. Has Patrick Mahomes ever lost to the same team twice in one season? Let me know down in the comment section, all right? Let me know. But as always, this episode of the Wonderkind show. Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truths. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You know I love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonderkind show's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content goodness way for your consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and such like that, right? Bottom of the screen, QR code. QR code to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nature, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. <gasps> Peace. Huh. And I am out of here. What? You're... Finish him, daddy. Oh!